This video is for you if you want to see all the updates and changes that were made with Interactive Broker's new rollout to the upgraded version of their mobile app. We're going to walk through a bunch of different examples of how the app is now much different than the previous version, including new updated charts, new updated options, chains, new ways to trade, and new features overall that give this app a ton more power than its predecessor. Let's do it. Right off the hop, the main screen is different in a big way, with this being the area where you go to log into your account. If you want to get into the paper trading side of things, you actually can't do it here. You have to click on the three dots in the top right corner. Doing that is going to allow you to log into paper trading if you select that. And now we can go in here and start getting things going if you want to go ahead and paper trade. In case you want to toggle back on to the real way to do the trading, same thing, go back, log into live trading, and there you go. You can log in at your leisure. Once you are in your portfolio section down here, this all looks pretty familiar, right? This is the exact way it was kind of laid out. Maybe you have six apps up along the bottom here, but now you start getting different things like your portfolio. And let's walk through some of these changes now on your portfolio screen. You can still click and drag and move this around and you can see your cash positions. You can see all your margin and maintenance margin stuff up here, along with your net liquidation value. That's all the same kind of stuff, your account, whatnot, that's all good. A big difference here is when you click into a position, when you're actually trying to make a trade and change something, you can see that I've got a profit here of Apple of about $4,000. Let's open this up. I click here once, this is still the same. Now I click this chart again in here, and here's where the changes start. This quote page should have a different looking feel if you were using the old school app style. This stuff up here is different. It'll give you the market that it's traded on, the hours that it's traded, even this market closed, or how long it takes till the market opens again is all new stuff that they've added, which is pretty neat. You can see along the top here, you've got some additional options you can work through, quote options, book, company, and news. Those were not all there before. Those are kind of different areas. And then if you click into those, you're gonna go down the rabbit hole and see more different things that this app now offers. This options chain is definitely a different feel. We're gonna get into that in a couple minutes here. One thing I want to key in on for this page is down here, this position area right here. Before we used to be able to scroll down and see this area. Now they make it just kind of static there. So if you have a position on here, it's going to show you your position, your average price, which is great to see there. Your today's PL, your unrealized PL as well. And now if you wanted to go ahead and just buy or sell or kind of exit this position, if you click down here, click on this area, you bring it up and it pops up. Now it gives you options to go and do closed position. You can put an exit strategy on. So if you wanted to go in and actually put on your stop loss or take profit order, you could do that right through here. But if you want to kind of leg out and just close this position, it's right there for you to do on a couple of easy clicks. You can also use this little button down here to set an alert for Apple. Let's say you wanted to put an alert on, you could choose the price, you can have it there set and you can create an alert button right from that tab right there, which is a nice feature. And if you didn't have this on a watch list already, this little button down here with the eyeballs, you can let you just pop that into a watch list. You just check whichever one you want to put it on, like favorites, click add, and now it's going to be on your watch list in real time. If we scroll down a bit more, we've got the dividend information, which is great. Had that before. Analyst rating is kind of similar. Industry competitors, the different kind of companies in the same sector, that's the same. Not exactly sure if short selling was there before or not. Security lendings, average duration, extended research, some extra stuff to go in. And then the margin requirements there at the very end of this little scroll path, you can get the margin requirements for this individual stock. Now let's open up this chart and see what's different about this, because this is getting powerful now inside Interactive Brokers. We are currently showing the new kind of layout for the chart. You see the new options here along the top. You can also revert to the legacy area of the chart. If you wanted to go back and just go back and go old school for now, I'm not sure how long this is going to be there for, but this new up here, you can toggle that on or off and you can go back. And I am sure I'm going to go back and this will revert you back to the legacy mode of the chart. If you want to just go new and just kind of get on board with the new kind of chart, I recommend you clicking that on and go in new school. You can see the can feel the difference between these two different chart types. They are very different in terms of what they offer and the capabilities. All these buttons up here, if you're a trading view junkie like I am, you like to trade and chart through trading view, you can use these kind of buttons to kind of mimic the layout and the feel of what trading view offers. This must look very normal to you if you're in a trading view kind of uh, chart setup. You have your different chart types with this first candlestick here, candles, bars, columns, whatever, step line area, all this different stuff you can pick and choose from there. You've got your indicators available to you right there. You can click and drag and put those on, select what you want to put on your chart, make it a little bit more fancy, jazz it up a bit. The ability to save a chart template, open a chart template as well, 
And if you wanted to go down here, you can also change the date range up here, change it up. You can go different intervals like that. And of course, at the very start of this little chart here, you have a day chart shown right now. We can also go to one minute, two minute, and the chart's gonna update accordingly. I am currently working on a full scale breakdown of this advanced chart for interactive brokers. If you want to see that one, make sure you subscribe to the channel and put notifications on. It is going to be released in the coming week. Taking it back to the rest of the changes in here, let's get into the options chain. This is going to look and feel a whole lot different as well, the options area. You may have dabbled with this a little bit before, you may not have, but it's very similar setup across the top there. You've got your expiration dates, that should feel pretty normal to you, but it does look different again. And if I revert to legacy here, you're gonna notice a big time difference. Three dots at the top right to revert. We'll go down here and go legacy options chain to do that, turn that on close out of here. You can see you still have these numbers here at the top, the expiration dates, you've got your strikes down the middle, calls and puts. But if we flip it back for a second, you can get back into this and it just has more of a cleaner, simpler feel. It's gonna take a little bit of getting used to if it's your first time going through it, but I like this up here, the market closed. That's a nice feature, that's a nice touch. You have your IV historical there, your IV last is good there as well. Your option volume, your VWAP, which I'm not really a one to use inside the options chain, but the IV rank in here, this is all good stuff for you to kind of give an eye on and what the volatility is when you're using options. You can scroll over to get your expiration dates as they move across, which is a nice feature as well. Let's go out to January and see what that's going with. And again, these are gonna update for your calls and puts. Like we said, you can scroll up and down to get different strike prices shown. And a cool feature in here as well. If you click this strike button, you can see the little arrows right there pointing up and down. It's gonna to toggle, it's gonna to sort these numbers highest to lowest or lowest to highest, depending on what you wanna do. Let's toggle that once. You can see now the number is 205, 295. You can toggle it again and just flip flop them around just based on what you wanna trade and how you wanna see the data. If you wanna add a new column in the calls or the put section, it's gonna show up in both if you add one. You can still do this, except we don't go up here to the three dots anymore. That used to be the old school way of doing it. We don't do that anymore. We actually go over to these little, I guess you'd call them like sliders. They look like a little thing you'd slide up and down to equalize some music sound. We're gonna go in there, the equalizers, let's say. And then we're gonna go down here to manage columns. What you can do there is then go add different columns to your options chain. If you wanted to add the Greeks, like we said, Delta, Theta right there, let's go Delta, Theta. You can rearrange them by clicking and dragging the hamburger icons, just moving around a little bit. And if we go back up here, we can get out of this and we can see that just clicking up here in this little area one more time or clicking done rather. If we're now to kind of click and drag this across, we should be able to see our Delta and Theta up here, which we are, those two columns there, those two columns there for the calls and puts. So they're both good to go. Now, as you can see, when we were in that little menu before toggling on the Delta and Theta, this little area here opens us up to a whole bunch of different things there. We've got option settings. We've got all these different layouts possible. If you want to get into those and go into the options wizard, the calls and puts, spreads, vertical spreads, diagonal spreads for all you combination traders, make sure you check those out. Those are going to be some powerful tools to help you kind of just trade a little bit quicker. We can get into them in a future video if you want. When we go and open up a trade here, let's go and buy this 180 call option here for Apple. We're gonna get somewhere between 1035 and 1055 for this options trade. We're gonna click in there, go buy. Now we can click the order right there and put that on. And you're gonna be taken to the order ticket area, which is very similar, if not exactly the same as it was before. You've got your buy order there. You can toggle that to buy or sell if you want. You have the ability to see what you're actually buying. You have the allocation, the buying power, the quantity you can change over here, or with the plus and minus sign. Limit order, click on the little drop down triangle right there. You can specify the different order type that you want to have. There's a whole bunch of them in there to go through. You can change your limit price. Obviously, clicking these little minus and plus, you're going to be able to do that, or the drop down to get to your mid price which is where a lot of option contracts live and breathe. Time enforces day or good till canceled. And then you can go at the bottom and you can do your old little calculator friend there to see what's gonna impact your account. It's gonna give you things like the equity with loans, it's gonna give you your maintenance margin, your post trade kind of account size as well over here, and just the numbers you wanna see before actually making the trade. Swiping right, like we normally do, is still the same. That's gonna put your order in the hopper. Once this goes black, your order is filled, it becomes a trade, and you can see that like you can normally inside of your trading area. We just back out of this. We go to trade here down at the bottom. Orders, one. We can see we have a nice trade in here just waiting to be filled. 
Getting into the watch list now, let's pop open the watch list tag right here. This again looks super similar to what we had before. We're gonna go in here to uh, the QQQ and look to make a trade, just straight up QQQ. We're gonna click into the chart like we normally do, hit there, and then we're back to this order ticket area again. If you wanted to just trade straight up, just buying and selling shares of stock, you could do it from this screen right here, buying and selling, it'll take you to your order screen right there. We're back in order ticket area, giving you the ability again, quantity, order type, price, time and force, all that stuff is there. We're gonna back out of this for one second and go to the chart one more time, showing you one little trick and cheat for the chart trading. We go into the chart, click in here. And if we click and hold in the chart, we're gonna get some crossers popping up right here. You can position your crosser somewhere. Then you click on this little plus button right there, that little Jimmy. Now you have the option, boom, how sweet is that? Buy or sell QQQ at that area. If you click one of those for quick trading, you're gonna be able to buy at that area once it gets there. It's gonna take you back into your buy order. And you can always flip this ticket into a sell order if you wanted to actually sell them short at that point. You can do that, but it's gonna get you right to that order ticket for fast, efficient trading. You can still attach a bracket order for a stop loss and a profit taker, that has not changed. And again, you have the ability to slide to submit to sell when you're doing this trading. A nice hack for those who want to use the book trading feature on Interact Your Brokers mobile app, you have the book trading thing right here, click in there. And those of you who have been in this and are familiar with it, you have the ability to then go inside Book Trader and use Book Trader inside the app at your leisure as well. And if we go over here to our little hamburger icon menu, we still have a whole whack of options over here on the left-hand side. This is where you're going to be able to manage all your account settings. You're going to be able to set things, impact analysis, trade assistant, option and roll orders, all these different things. You have some new ones, obviously, you want to go and check out Event Trader, Research, Trade Worldwide. The calendars right there are cool as well. You have some settings in here. If you want to go into settings, this is a way you can go to display or trader settings, go through here. I'm just going to show you here to put the light dark system on. You can do that in here as well. You can also have the advanced ability to toggle on or off your advanced chart in here or your legacy options chain or your launch pad. You can try these on and off. Or if one of the new charts ever disappears on you, go back in here and check out these little toggles. Toggle them on to be able to go advanced, toggle them off to if you want to see the legacy versions, you'll just get the new updated version if these are turned off. It is nice that you are able to search settings up here at this taskbar right there. And then going back one more level, you can always drop these little tabs down. Trade gives you a whole bunch of different things to do here. Convert currencies is a big one inside there that people are always asking for. Again, you have to be able to buy, you can sell, you can book trade. You can do all these different things in here, go to options. That's another way to get into it if you wanna take the more long approach. Transfer and pay is gonna be a big one for anyone who's putting cash into their account. Deposit funds, withdraw funds, transfer positions in between different accounts right there available to you. And account management is also gonna be a big one. It's gonna be market data positions, which is a huge one. If you want to get trading permission, that's another big one right there. If you wanna see your tax forms, there's a nice one right there. And portfolio analysis is a great one. You wanna check your activity and kind of how you're doing when you're trying to beat the market. Overall, I like the new sleek look of Interactive Brokers mobile app. It's going to take some getting used to for most traders, including myself, but I'm pumped at the advanced features, specifically in the advanced chart and how nice the new options chain looks. If you yourself haven't gotten started but want to with Interactive Brokers, check out the link in the description for this video for a way to save a little bit of cash and get some free stock when you open your own account. And as I mentioned earlier, I am releasing a new video this week on the advanced chart features, how to break it down, how to use all the new features. So make sure you stay tuned for that and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on how to use those new charting features and more videos just like this for Interactive Brokers Trading.